And here's the uh, basic Ainsley circuit and it, I'm just running it on uh, one gel cell and the diode from the negative of the coil is going to the positive of this battery and then the negative of that battery is connected to the positive so it's wired like Bedini SSG style and one thing that's kind of interesting is that at a very specific frequency at least for my setup and, and I'm using a 1 ohm not 10 ohms but this is a 1 ohm resistor here um, at 12.79 kilohertz at 21.46 percent duty cycle when this is set um, all I have to do is bring it into oscillation drop it out of oscillation and you can see I have full wireless control of the lamp and this is one of those and this is one of those touch lamps with low medium and high setting so you can see the oscillation right there bring it in the oscillation and I back it out this is with high resistance at the gate full oscillation back it out high resistance at the gate low no resistance at the gate full oscillation back it out and you can see that I'm able to control it at will from seven to eight feet away from the uh, circuit here and also when it's set at this frequency I have to be very careful because it keeps um, resetting my computer also at the same distance and especially if I touch the resistor if I put my hand by the MOSFET my computer across the room will um, also turn off and reset so anyway just kinda interesting um, and this is all I'm doing this is zero gate resistance this is increasing gate resistance no resistance increasing no resistance increasing and when I have uh, you can see the scope and the lamp in the same picture no resistance at the gate you can see that it's in full oscillation and I back it out and it's not transferring through the scope or anything like that because I can disconnect all these and then turn them off take the probes off it doesn't matter it's a battery powered resonant remote controller for um, these appliances I think it's a perfect demonstration of resonance and it only works at this frequency for my setup so if you want to try to replicate this I would say you know you can get into the ballpark of that which is 12.79 kilohertz 21.46 to 21.47 duty cycle with a 1 ohm resistor with my particular setup but I don't think it's going to work uh, for anybody else if they duplicate this or it's going to be dependent on their own environment now it's not doing it. I can see that the uh, frequency is at 13.18 kilohertz. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, change a little bit. It's really, really subtle. Okay, now it's at 12.9786, 12.82. Okay, this should maybe do it. Okay, I got it. So I have to be within. Um, couple hundred hertz or it won't work now this is just a close-up of the scope and um, you see the light right there seems to work a little bit better at um, 12 point let's see 12.5 something kilohertz 21% duty cycle and I just want to show that when it's an oscillation here's the frequency that it's actually at see it's teetering right here it's not false triggering what this is is an um, instable or an unstable um, point to where the switch is about to go into oscillation and I can just increase the unstableness see what you want is unstableness but you want to increase as much potential as possible in that unstable mode. And you can see those are overlaying each other. 
not pulse triggering and you can see there's the controlled bursts of oscillations and it's very easy to do you see right here see oscillation just took over and it self ordered itself and if I bring it back out of um, out of oscillation let's see. See that. and I've actually seen the light go from bright to medium instead of off so it actually reversed the switching mode on that lamp and I've never seen that before but anyway um, here's the slight unstable mode now with this see the timing signal is dominant okay this is when the timing signal is dominant is when it's very very stable and you basically just have one you know one pulse intentionally by the timer circuit and as you increase the instability we're going to move towards full oscillation okay but if we teeter right on that point like right here where we get the multiple copies each one of those are not setting um, to zero you can see that you got a bunch bunch of those repeating patterns not aliasing not a, not anything that you may have heard this is a very controlled bursts of oscillations now if I go right past midline what's going to happen is now the oscillation is becoming dominant and little by little by little it's organizing into fewer and fewer patterns and then pretty soon it's going into full-blown oscillation see that so cell S is self-organizing but you don't want it to self-organize into full oscillation because it's not that efficient you want to keep it teetering right on the verge of that okay so anyway when it is in full oscillation like this um, this is showing about well 270 up to 900 something kilohertz um, even up to one and a half megahertz frequencies at 88 percent up to 88 percent duty cycle is what it's fluctuating at okay and so basically when it's an oscillation and I take it out what it needs when it's an oscillation that field is extending and it's pretty you know rigid at a distance and when I take it out of oscillation like this it's a pretty abrupt um, shrinking I guess you could kinda look at it like of the magnetic field but but it has to be that ab abruptness like this full oscillation then off full oscillation off full oscillation off full oscillation and when I say off that just means a little bit more resistance to drop it out of oscillation so depending on the circuit at zero resistance it would oscillate or maybe not oscillate and as you increase it it'll bring it out of oscillation and then you can keep turning it and then you get into another oscillation range and then if you keep turning it then it's out of oscillation range so that's just something everybody's gonna have to play with on their own so anyway, full oscillation, um, full oscillation, abrupt increase in resistance, full oscillation like this. Okay, so anyway, that's what it looks like when it's oscillating. Right now it's not oscillating, it's teetering right on the verge, and now here's the controlled bursts. And this is basically the waveform that's going to give you the biggest gains. Right now it's not tuned very good but I'm just showing the oscillation which will come at pretty much any setting that I want it to happen at um, but I just have it set at these frequencies right now just for this lamp demo pretty cool